Kia ora guys. Today we're on Deep Peter. So as you can see behind, we've got the van ready to go. Um, we've had this now for about a month. Uh, did not come with a diesel heater. There was an option from MDC to put one in, but they wanted it's about two and a half grand. This thing here in this box, I got it off eBay, I think it was about 147 bucks, um, but I just couldn't justify the two and a half grand. So but we'll give this one a go, fit it myself, see how it goes. Um, there will be a full walk around video of the van coming up soon, but for now, we'll get this fitted. So, starting in the top of the box, tank, what else we got in here? Instructions, steel plate, gloves. Um, unit is in here somewhere. So we'll get all of this out and get rid of the box. in here so this is looks like all the air fittings the exhaust and stuff all right what i'll do i'll lay all this out and then i'll give you a bit of an overview and show you everything that's in it okay so it's all unboxed all the bits all laid out on the bench um, i'll take you in the van i really haven't decided yet where it's going to go um, being such a small van we are a little bit restricted on where it can go i was hoping so in here quickly was hoping maybe there is a storage compartment under the seat here, uh, but it looks like it might be a little bit close to the wheel art. So maybe underneath the bed, what I might need to do, I might need to, oh, might need to pop the roof up, I reckon, fold around a little bit so that we can actually work in there. All right, bear with me. Okay, so I've worked out the spot. Up underneath, just next to the wheel arch. Willie, get out of the light, buddy. All fun and games with Willie Dog sitting in the light. Buddy, come on, get out of the way. All right, so I'm just gonna drill a little hole up through around about here, uh, which is, there's a little toolbox that was just underneath the seat, or storage box underneath the seat. So I'm gonna drill a hole through exactly where I want it here, and then that way I can mark out from the top side exactly where I wanna cut the hole out. Here we go. All right, here we go. Put a hole through the floor of a brand new caravan. Hopefully that's all right. Well, that was semi-successful. So the hole, as you can see, sort of almost in the middle of the little floor well there. So that's gonna work out pretty well. You wanna come help, buddy? You wanna come and help? Yeah, right. All right, so I'll mark this out, cut the hole out, drop the unit on the top, and we'll see how well it's gonna sit in the middle of the box. Alrighty, couple of holes. As if I drilled that in the wrong spot. Maybe I did. Nah, just messing with you. So I'm just gonna vacuum this out. Those hoses there down that you can see through the hole, they should be able to push out the way and then everything else will get clipped straight on the side of the chassis rail. So let's get this bad boy mounted. So we've got the mounting plate on, the air intake, fuel line and the exhaust all mounted ready to go. Now we're gonna flip this upside down push through the hole, uh, this hose goes through the floor and then you gotta bring it back up again because there will be the little fuel pump. I'll probably mount it maybe to the side of the wheel arch or something in there. Um, has taken me a little while to work this out because the instructions that come with this are absolutely useless. This is basically, that's it. It's a diagram that essentially tells you nothing. So um, hopefully this helps you if you do one yourself. <laughs> anyway, let's get this in the hole. So, okay, so there's just a quick little shot under the floor. There's our pipe sticking through, so the exhaust, I'll try and bend that, follow it somehow along the back here, and then I'll try and mount the, um, the little muffler thing to the side of here. Willie, can you get out of the light, buddy? So then, fuel hose, that will go back up, probably through a little hole over here somewhere, and air 
filter. No idea where we're gonna mount that. Do need to put a little air filter on the intake somewhere under here, being an off-road van. Uh, expect to see a lot of dust, so probably end up gonna need to put like a little cover or something over the air intake and just sort of have to take it off every time we want to use it because otherwise that is just going to absolutely get bloody chockers every time. So we've jumped forward a little bit on the install here. I stopped filming for a little while there. I was getting a bit sidetracked and to be honest with you, I didn't actually really know what I was doing. Anyway, this is where we're at. So the fuel pump is mounted, um, fuel hose in and then back out. I made up these little, these little clip brackets just to hold a few cables. Still going to try and get the power hooked up, uh, still gonna mount the controller, but I've drilled and mounted the vents. So this side here is a bit weird. I don't know if anyone else has done one of these before. It's given me enough hose clamps to be able to mount a flexi duct on the intake, but you can't actually put a pipe on there. So I've just drilled a hole just in the front anyway, because that will just vent straight into that box and then obviously do a thing in here, warm the air up, and then pump it back out. Blow the nice hot air straight back out there. Well, uh, the little switch panel, I've got that mounted. Um, it actually looks really good on there. Almost looks like it's there from factory. Uh, basically everything in here is done besides hooking up the power. I've decided what I'm gonna do is probably put a little hole through the side here, run positive and negative through. There's a little bit on the bottom of a circuit breaker under there that I'll connect to the positive and the main earth. Can't really see from here, but the main earth is snuck down in there. So anyway, cut forward, we'll take you underneath. This has been a bit of a mission all day getting in underneath here. But I'll show you, we've got, oh no, I just knocked my light over. I've got, everything is complete under here, but the muffler is mounted just next to the shocker so that's all done oh yeah air filter is on uh all the fuel hoses are done clamps are on everything's done the fuel hose has been run all the way to the draw bar but that's gonna be the last thing i'm just gonna mount up the fuel tank and then put the filter in and get that sorted so i'll, um, I'll show you what the little plan is with the fuel tank so the fuel tank will fit perfectly just in front of the gas bottle here. So the plan is, I reckon I can mount that to, whoops, to the body. Tuck it in about there somewhere and I'll get like a little color bond or not necessarily color bond, but a little sheet metal thing bent up um, to encapsulate it just to try and protect it a little bit. Uh, but as you can see, I've got the fuel hose here ready to go. I just need to get a little isolator switch for the power. Give me another hour or two tomorrow, Arvo, and she'll be done. But anyway, that is me for the day. I am out of here. Sweet. All right, catch you later, legends. Right, so I've got a few bits now. Got me a little Colorbond flashing made up to go around the tank, so that'll fit in there nicely. Nice black one to match the front, black on the front of the van. Um, now, this is a little bit of a tricky part. I've got a hole drilled in the bottom for the little fuel outlet. So obviously diesel will feed out that little hole. Uh, then there's a little nut that'll lock that in, fuel hose goes on there. So the problem is, if you can see through there, the hole right in the bottom, basically you've got to try and drop that little plug inside the main funnel hole and shake it about and try and get the end of it to pull through there. So. Voila, one fuel outlet. So this is my little contraption to be able to bend up my tank cover. Um, I didn't actually film the process of doing the first bit because I was a bit unsure whether it was even gonna work. Uh, but I've got a block of wood, clamp, or cut to size clamped inside, clamped on there, and then just basically push down with a bit of timber just to try and get that even crease along there. You can do it with sheet benders um, but just the small clamp ones you can get, but you end up with little creases in it. So this one has actually worked a treat. Okay, so this is the second side. I thought I'd show you this one, seeing as the first one worked. Um, so I've got the sides all trimmed off. Got me block of timber clamped in there. We'll flip him 
upside down on the ground and then basically what I do line this up with the same marks on each side as the one under it and then just push fold it down then a bit of gentle persuasion happy days so the tank cover is done I let that set last night uh, got all the corners sick of flex there's our little fuel outlet down the bottom had to just chop the corner a little bit to be able to um, let the let the cap hang out but now this is ready to go in so it's got a little flange on the side here to be able to fix it to the front body of the caravan so this will go straight in about there tucking behind the gas bottle holder nice and protected the tank is all done mounted uh, I've got the fuel filter in now so the line goes over the top of the chassis and it feeds all the way down to the back hey, the moment of truth it is in and running Got a little switch in, just a little isolator switch that does not come with it. Uh, I would probably recommend getting your little isolator. I reckon that ticking is going to get bloody annoying. Um, but yeah, here's the little controller, all lit up. I really don't know what it's doing yet. Um, it doesn't actually look like it's managed to prime. I can just see a little bit of fuel coming through. Just into the bottom. You yeah, baby, we were successful. It did take a few goes. I had to turn it on and off a few times um, just to try and get the air to prime out of the line. So I actually took the outlet from the pump. I took this line off for a while and managed to watch it come up the hose into the pump and then put him back on just before she's going. But now it's got diesel in there. It is, I've got it set flat out, like on high fan, high heat. It is pumping. Hopefully that is a little bit helpful to you guys. Wanted to show you how it's actually going to fit on an XT12. Um, seen a few different reviews and install videos on all sorts of different camper trailers, different caravans, but I've never seen one on one of these. So if you've got an XT12, hopefully this helps you fit one in yours. For 147 bucks, you really can't go wrong. So a quick little recap. I've got the tank on the front, got a little color bond uh, flashing to protect that. So up under here is the fuel filter, which then the fuel line runs along the chassis up to this is the underside of where the unit is and it's got our exhaust it is running at the moment as you can hear a little exhaust tucked out between the shocker and the tire then the inside so we've got a control unit mounted just inside the door with a couple other switches underneath the seat when you first walk in is the actual burner and fan itself fuel pump onto the side of the wheel arch Little isolator switch, tap off some power in where, so the batteries are underneath the bed. So there's a little circuit breaker under there. Uh, that I've tapped into some power. The only thing I'm concerned about is this pump. If you can hear that ticking away, I wonder how you're gonna go sleeping with that. So there you go, that's the unit all done and dusted. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do like it and you are enjoying this, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. Feel free to leave us some comments, tick the like button. Let us know if you've enjoyed this little build video. Um, I do have quite a few others coming up just with the new canopy build, fitting some stuff on the car. Uh, and then once this is done, um, we'll get the van out and we'll give a full walk around tour of the van. So let us know if you came for that. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed it guys. See you in the next one. Well, that was Sam. Start that again. We can't cut the hole out. And uh, what do we have going on here? Might have to cut this bit out, Luke. This has been a bit of a mission all day getting in underneath here. I got, oh no, I just knocked my line over. So there you go. The wife's ringing now. And I've just been watching YouTube on how to actually fit it because. It